Megsy's now about to show you all a natural behaviour. That's how seals get around whilst out there at sea. So Lexi, let's see a bit of speed. Now this is simply known as bowing or porpoising, and it's the most energy efficient way for seals to travel. Each time Lexi jumps up out of the water, she very quickly takes a breath and then she continues on with her journey. So travelling in that method is great for chasing down prey or even getting away from some nasty predators. And there's a few of them that seals need to look out for. There's predators like killer whales. And there's another one, probably one of the major ones with the Australian sea lion. You guys have any idea? <laughs> Right, it is of course sharks. And although Lexi makes a very pretty little shark, what she is really showing you is another natural behaviour. It's how seals cool off. You see, seals have got really thick fur coats, and these fur coats are so good at keeping the heat in that it's only their naked hairless flippers that let any heat escape from their body. And on a really hot day, or a great afternoon like today, any one of those four flippers will help cool off. <laughs> Not her best end though, so we might spin her back around. Well, as well as those predators, there's something else seals need to look out for. In fact, it's one of the biggest threats that they face today, and it's human impact. That's because some of the most dangerous items that these animals encounter whilst out there at sea are items like discarded nets and fishing line. Now, it may seem like harmless looking material, but to a playful marine animal, it can be potentially life-threatening. And as you can see, Lexi has found a piece of netting in our pool. And like a lot of marine animals, these items are often an open invitation for a bit of play. <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. However, innocent fun like this can very quickly turn deadly. And once entangled in something like a net, there is no escape. Seals may become unable to feed or they may even drown. Now on Australia's shores each year, we see over 100,000 of our marine mammal friends washing up dead as a result of the pollution and rubbish we allow to flow into our rivers and oceans. As you can see, Lexi's got herself entangled today. Lexi, what happens to seals stuck in nets? It's generally a pretty sad ending. <laughs> now, lucky for Lexi, I'm here to help her out. The seals and other marine life out there in the wild are not usually so fortunate. So when you find rubbish like this on the ground, don't leave it there, pick it up, take it with you, and dispose of it properly. Well, Lexi, you've done a great little start to the show, so do you want to say a big goodbye to everybody? <laughs> Thanks for coming out. You can run off stage. She's going to make way for another one of our...